Hi everyone, welcome to the episode of The Root Culturist. In this week's episode, we look at potting Platycerium pups. So Platycerium pups are a miniature version of the parent plant and the bifurcated complex pups frequently. But plants like Radii, One Day, Grande, Hitomiae, Superbum, they don't produce pups. Cononarium they do produce, not as frequent as the bifurcatum complex, but given a chance, they would actually wrap themselves around a tree. Potting Platycerium pups are easy. They just need a moist media and a pot. Here we've cut the shape to fit the plant in. Next, you can add the fillers. So here we're using pumice, but this is optional. And then you could add in the sphagnum moss. So this is the moist media that we need. So what you're going to do is to ensure that the roots are always in contact with the media. And then we just happened to see this and thought that this way is actually quite good, which is to put the plant inside the pot. So only the growth bud is pointing outwards. And then the rest of the plant is in contact with the media. So let's take a look at how it's done. So this part is actually not what they would do. So they would just put the whole leaves inside. But because you can see that the leaves are actually growing and there is an old leaf growing behind that, what you could do is to put the front part of the leaf inside. But before we do that, let's just check the orientation. So growth bud pointing upwards, new growth or at the bottom. Don't be afraid to cut any if you need to, because whatever is in the pot, that would already become the media for the plant. So in one of the videos that we did, this old root mass or this old shoot fronts, they all eventually become the media for the plant. So they become like a spongy media that the plant will absorb and retain the water whenever it's wet. Lift up the first layer and slide the plant in. Just like that. And then you have to cut off a little bit of a plastic pot. So just to give the bud more space to grow. And then you put in the media. You want to ensure that the roots are always in contact with the moist media. But also you want to ensure that you don't compact too much moss inside so that there is no airflow after that. Over here we notice that there is some misalignment in the orientation so we're just shifting it a little bit like so. So just to orientate that the growth part is always uh, in the right position. So we're looking at another one where the plant is placed outside with the roots all facing inside. So with this method, you need to tie a string around the plant to prevent the plant from falling out. And then with the other method, you don't really have to do that. So you don't have to worry that the plant falls off or the roots are not kept moist enough. So let's look at method two, which is to place the plant outside and the roots inside. What you're going to do is to remove the slits, but not too low so that the shoot front is sitting nicely on top of the ridges. So speeding up this video a little bit. So it's just cutting and widening the hole. And this part is just to fit all the roots inside. Once done is to add the media of choice and in this case we're going to use cocoa husk. So as mentioned for this one you need to tie a string so that the plant doesn't drop out and it is always in contact with the media. 
If you have any question or want to share your own experience with porting PlayStation Pubs, feel free to leave a comment below. We'd love to hear about it.